Hey everyone, this is Ben with RegisteredNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to talk about respiratory therapists. I'm going to talk about the job overview, education requirements, some of the likes and dislikes for this profession, and I'm going to talk about detailed salary information so you can know exactly how much money these individuals make on average. Okay, so let's get started. What exactly does a respiratory therapist actually do on the job? Well, these individuals care for patients who have trouble breathing or some lung issue. For example, an individual may have a chronic respiratory disease like asthma or emphysema and the respiratory therapist will assist with that. They will provide care to patients from a whole slew of age ranges, everything from infants with collapsed lungs all the way up to elderly individuals. And they will also provide emergency care. For example, let's say a code blue is called in a hospital. A respiratory therapist is probably going to be there attending to the individual. Now, what are the tasks that a respiratory therapist will do on the job? They will interview and examine patients with breathing or cardiopulmonary disorders. They'll consult with physicians to develop a treatment plan for individuals. They'll also perform a lot of diagnostic tests such as measuring lung capacity. They will develop treatment uh, treatment plans and treat patients using a variety of methods including chest physiotherapy where maybe they'll go in and remove mucus from the lungs. They will also uh, administer aerosol medications. They use a lot of different machines and equipment. They might use BiPAP machines, ventilators, and so forth. They'll monitor and record the progress of certain treatments. Supervise respiratory therapy technicians during tests and evaluate test findings and they'll also teach patients how to use treatments. So that's a little bit about what a respiratory therapist does on the job. Now let's talk about the education requirements. Well it does vary from state to state as usual but in most cases you're going to need at least an associate's degree if you want to become a respiratory therapist. A lot of employers may prefer that you have a bachelor's degree so it just depends on your state and the, the employer you want to work for but usually you have to have at least an associate's degree. Now you oftentimes will have to take a test once you graduate and uh, pass a licensing examination and certification is also something that you may want to look into and some places require certification some don't but the national board for respiratory care that is the nbrc they actually are one of the main certifying bodies for respiratory therapy and they will offer two different levels of certification. They have the Certified Respiratory Therapist designation, which is the CRT, and they also have the Registered Respiratory Therapist designation, which is the RRT. So those are the two different types of certifications you can obtain in this profession. Now let's talk about some of the likes and dislikes of respiratory therapy. What does a respiratory therapist tend to dislike about his or her job? Well, some of them will complain that they feel like there's not a lot of room for advancement. Some of them will say that they, they only feel like they can just work as a respiratory therapist or maybe move up to a shift leader or manager and that's about it in a lot of healthcare settings. So that's one thing that they dislike. Another thing is that some of them feel that the job can be very stressful when they have to deal with patients with a whole lot of health issues. For example, uh, say a patient just has multiple issues going on, that can be very stressful and difficult or if they have to be called into a lot of code or emergency situations, that can be kind of stressful. Another thing is that some of them feel like they don't really get enough respect as compared to some of the other healthcare professions, and they tend to dislike being confused with nurses, for example. Most respiratory therapists do not like to be confused with nurses. What are some of the likes of this profession? Well, a lot of them feel like this is a calling and not a career. They really like working with patients, um, and, and seeing that they can help them breathe better after treatment and so forth. Another thing that respiratory therapists tend to like is they get to focus just on their area of expertise and they let those other healthcare professionals deal with all those other issues. For example, they may walk into a room and a patient may be like, oh yeah, I've got some issue with my foot going on. The respiratory therapist is probably like, oh okay, I'll get your nurse for you. <laughs> and they're just like, I'm done with that. But uh, that's how some respiratory therapists will view that. And another thing they like about their job is that in a lot of healthcare settings, not all, but a lot of them, like a hospital, you can do the 12 hour shift rotation. And some of them like that and some of them don't. But the advantage of that is that you work three days, but you have four days off usually in a week. So those are some of the likes and dislikes of this profession. Now let's talk a little bit about salary information. 
Well, all these numbers that I'm about to talk about come from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, and they're accurate as of 2014, and that's the government organization that compiles jobs data and statistics, okay? So first of all, respiratory therapists have a 19% projected growth rate from years 2012 to 2022. That's faster than the average, so that's good. There are going to be some jobs opening, and as of 2012, there were 119,300 jobs in the United States for this profession. Now, the average wage in the U.S., $28.12 per hour, and the average salary, $58,490 per hour. That is just average. If you're at entry level, you may make less. If you're at the end of your career, you may make a lot more. And some of the things that can impact your salary are the industry in which you work and the state in which you live. And I want to talk about some of those things right now. First of all, what was the industry with the highest level of employment? General and medical surgical hospitals was number one at $58,360. Specialty hospitals, number two, $59,850. And then nursing care facilities was number three, $58,960. What about the top paying industries for a respiratory therapist? Outpatient care centers came in at number one at $69,000. Employment services was number two at $64,690. And then Residential, intellectual, and developmental disability, mental health, and substance abuse facilities came in at number three at $62,220. Now, let's talk about some of the top paying states here. California came in at number one at $77,280. Nevada came in at number two at $71,870. And New Jersey, number three, $69,870. The lowest paying states, Alabama, number one, $46,570. Kentucky at number two at $47,300. And then Mississippi, number three, $47,600. And I will post statistics on our website. If you look at the description in this video below, there should be a link that you can click to take you to a page on our website. And we'll have all 50 states and a little bit of extra statistics there if you're interested in digging a little deeper. So that's a little bit of information about respiratory therapists. This is a continuation of a series I'm doing on healthcare salaries and job overview. I have a whole playlist on our YouTube channel if you want to check that out and look at some other professions. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.